Now we're going to enter the code for the get user input method. Now we're going to uh, just be kind of simple about this. We're going to use two buttons, an X and a Y, and X and Y keys on the keypad to start and end the uh, explosion reaction. Now the explosion reaction will end on its own over time, so we really don't need that Y button and key to end it, but just in case we want to end it a little faster uh, than will normally happen, because it'll take a while for all the the bits of the explosion to uh, to play themselves out. So if we don't want to wait, then we can just uh, hit the Y key and it'll uh, reset the explosion. So we're gonna we're going to uh, get input from the keyboard and from the gamepad, and then we're going to uh, check for keys being pressed, and uh, that's uh, that's about it. It's nothing we haven't done before. We haven't done this exact thing before, but we've done things very much like this before. So uh, this shouldn't be that tough. So we'll get rid of this throw new not implemented exception line. And then key state 01 equals keyboard dot get state. Open close paren semicolon. And then pad01 equals gamepad dot get state and open parend and player index dot one semicolon. Okay. Now we're going to uh, put the exit uh, code down here. So if pado one dot buttons dot back, and we're going to do a compare here. So two equal sign button state dot pressed close parend, and we can put this in curlies. And you could add uh, a keyboard exit if you wanted to. Uh, we've done that before, so that wouldn't be too tough, but I'm just going to put uh, this dot exit and open close parens semicolon and closing curly. Okay, and now we're ready for uh, the real heart of this. So we'll come down another line or two here. And if open parend key state 01 dot is key down open parend keys dot x and close parend and then or which is the two lines pad one dot buttons dot x and our two equal signs for the compare button state dot pressed. So is the keyboard uh, X key or the pad uh, X button pressed either way. Ending paren for that, opening curly. And then the already pressed variable, which is uh, our variable that lets us know whether the reaction, whether the explosion is taking place or not, set to true. And then else, if open parend and this is going to be pretty much the same except for the Y key and button so key state 01 dot is key down open parend keys dot Y close parend and or so our two lines pad 01 dot buttons dot Y And equals equals button state dot pressed. Okay, so if uh, if the Y key or button is pressed, then we're actually going to do two things. First thing we're going to do is set the already pressed uh, variable to false. But then we're also going to reset the positions of all the particles so that they can actually be fired again. 
So we're going to call that a method called reset sprites, which doesn't exist. So that's why we got the little blue rectangle there. So that's good. Now we'll come in and we're going to create the method stubs. So we'll click in the line and then come in here and open this up, generate method stub. There it is. There it's good. And that's what we need for get user input. We save it and we're done with that.